Hey guys, uh, I just wanted to show you this beautiful 1969 MGB, which is for sale. And if you remember that beautiful uh, TR250 that we sold on the channel a few months ago, that's the same owner, so that tells you what kind of uh, care has been taken. So what's specific about this car is that it has one of those new reproduction shells that they still make in England using the original tooling from the 60s and 70s. So it is a brand new body. I believe it is like six, seven years old, but absolutely no rust, obviously. Like I said, it's 1969. You can tell by the two windshield wipers. After that, they went for three and the tow seats inside but we're gonna show the interior a little bit later the engine bay is uh, beautiful inside the original engine it's been rebuilt by the previous owner but you can tell it's been taken good care of it has additional oil cooler <coughs> the original su carbs it has four speed transmission with overdrive I don't know if it is original or not and it just looks amazing it has chrome wire wheels with uh, michelin tires 175 70 14 uh stainless exhaust but we're gonna put her in the air as you can see she is on a lift so we're gonna put her in the air and we're gonna look underneath uh, let's look inside before we lift her in the air right away we can see the step plates here stainless mg with the logo the dash looks good it has what does it have 7000 miles on it and we assume this is since the engine has been rebuilt so the top inside looks amazing. Steering wheel has been changed, but he has the original steering wheel. And the seats are in a great shape. They are the original seats, but they have been recovered. And this feels like leather. And with the bonnet down, just before we put her in the air. I'm not an MG guy, but I really like this one. <laughs> All right, so she's up in the air and you can see that underneath she looks just as amazing as outside. Absolutely no rust anywhere, of course, as expected on a new body. Um, the suspension has been rebuilt with, uh, I guess these are polyurethane bushings, the red ones everywhere. has header and uh, stainless steel exhaust. Here's the overdrive. As far as I can tell, it's an LH type, which doesn't tell me much. The trials that I work on don't use this type of an overdrive, but uh, I've been told it works great. Uh, rear suspension. You can see also the red polyurethane bushings. Everything looks amazing. Here's the stainless steel exhaust. And that's about it. I guess we can uh, bring her down and start the engine so we can hear it. And here she is running. Nice and smooth. Oh, 
temperature is good. She's still cold, but she runs smooth even with a cold engine. All right, so that's about it. If you're interested or if you have any questions about it, get in touch with me. I'll put my email here and I'll put you in touch with the owner so you can figure out the rest. Like I said, the owner of these cars is taking really good care of them. I mean, the 250 and this one, they've always been stored indoors here in this heated garage with trickle chargers on them. So I strongly recommend it. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And hopefully somebody is gonna be the new happy owner of this car.